This is News Channel 5 at 6. And breaking news, brand new video showing the moments right after a pursuit ends in a crash and police took fugitive Casey White into custody. Good evening, I'm Vicki Yates. And I'm Rory Johnston. Yeah, the search, of course, captivated the nation and even had a Middle Tennessee connection. Casey White, of course, escaped from an Alabama facility with a corrections official. Now, this body cam video just in shows us the moment police pulled Vicki White from the mangled car yesterday. Authorities say she had shot herself in the head and it took multiple officers to get her out of the wreckage. Vicki White died from her injuries last night. Now, that search we know lasted for 10 long days. News Channel 5's Chris Davis has the latest from where it all ended in Evansville, Indiana. Authorities in Evansville, Indiana displayed guns found in the vehicle driven by an escaped Alabama inmate and the corrections official accused of helping him. Authorities say if U.S. Marshals hadn't rammed the car into a ditch, the standoff could have ended very differently. He said that he was probably going to have a shootout uh, in, in, at the stake of both of them losing their lives. Casey White, who was in prison for attempted murder and facing a capital murder charge, surrendered. Police say Vicki White shot herself and later died from her injury. There's no evidence that the pair were related, even though the inmate is said to have referred to the jailer as his wife. We understand that uh, that Casey said, go help my wife when, uh, when, when law enforcement arrived. Uh, what, what, did, what did you make of that? Well, he was uttering a lot of words when he got out of there. I think he was just in a state of shock. The manhunt started last month nearly 300 miles away in Lauderdale County, Alabama. Surveillance video shows the pair leaving the jail in her patrol car. Authorities say it appears the couple had been in Indiana about a week before the tips and surveillance photos led to their capture. He said that he was just trying to find a place to hide out and lay low. Authorities say the couple had about $29,000 on them when they were apprehended. Casey White signed a waiver of extradition and will return to Alabama. Chris Davis, CBS News, Evansville, Indiana.